Today's video, we're going to be showing you how Henry runs the best red zone defense in Madden 24. And we're really going to be breaking down this pivotal red zone stop that he ends up having on Wesley. Now, one thing I really want to point out right out of the gate here is he's in 4-3, even 6-1. So he's I'm pretty sure he's in Kansas City's playbook. The biggest thing here is, if you notice, he's not pinching his line. Uh, pretty much everyone that runs 6-1... They basically pinch their line so that they can get disengages. What Henry's going to end up doing is he's going to leave his line spread, which allows him uh, and gives him a blitzing threat, a significant blitzing threat uh, to be able to get pressure. So uh, we'll go through and just kind of take a look at this first thing. So here we get a little run play. And uh, Henry, I don't know how I, he got clicked on at the deep as a tackle, but anyway, he's able to get the stop. Now we're going to go into Wesley's red zone passing. And when we go into rest, uh, Wesley's red zone passing here, you're going to see something really interesting from Henry uh, that you don't see from a lot of people. That is that he is sending literally everybody. He's sending one, two, three, four, five, six people. This guy is going to be in a hard flat or a cloud flat. This guy is going to be in a half, a deep half, or a man up on the slot. And then we're going to get a scissor adjustment over here on the back end. Now I'm going to show this in practice mode uh, so that you can actually see what's going on. He ends up getting a really nice KO uh, right there, and it's going to bring up a third down and goal. So, um, again, most people would play coverage in this situation. Henry ends up sending six, and we get pretty much perfect defense again. We get those nice cloud flats on the outside with that shaded down hook curl in the middle of the field, that man up on the slot receiving threat, and Wesley ends up throwing the ball away. And this is truly one of the biggest plays, in my opinion, in the entire game. So let's talk about Henry's red zone defense and what makes it so uh, so effective. So first things first, we were in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire 6-1 defensive ebook, it's going to be linked in the description. Uh, you can get all of our ebooks by joining the Patreon. And again, like I said, links down below. It's only 10 bucks. Zone coverage is going to be on default here. Auto flip is off. Auto alignment is going to be set to base. And... Um, you can really – I'm pretty sure Henry was coming out in this man-to-man -man play, but he might have been in, in cover quarters because when you come out in man-to-man, -man, I think he was in man-to-man. -man. I'm going to say that he was in man-to-man. -man. Okay, so he's in the Samuel Blitz, and uh, essentially he's going to stand with his user defender. He's going to stand about right here. This is what's going to allow the Blitz to come in. So you see here, if I send this Blitz, we're going to get pretty good pressure. Now, don't mind the bumping in actual – ultimate team where you have a little bit better of a lineup you're going to be fine uh he might have crashed his line outside i don't think he did but um yeah i don't think he did i think he literally just used the default blitz angles that was on this but anyway the main thing uh, that we want to talk about is most people pinch their defensive line the problem is when you pinch your defensive line there's really not a blitz threat so as long as you don't get a disengage then they are basically going to play defense like this now another thing that's important to, to point out is you notice that corner on the right side he came inside what henry was doing is he'd come out and he would do his coverage adjustment so he put these outside guys in cloud flats then he would press his uh well maybe he didn't maybe this means he was in zone i don't know we'll get out of here and go to zone maybe he knows something i don't maybe he rebaselined not sure but basically, these guys on the outside were in cloud flats. However, you want to get at the same thing. And it was probably coming out in the Sam Will Blitz 3 flipped, more than likely, uh, because this if you blitz your linebackers, this is essentially the same thing as the man version. So you see here, we're going to cloud both of these outside guys. Now, uh, when the bunch was on the right-hand side to the wide side of the field, it appears like Henry was manning up this slot receiver. Why he was manning him up, honestly not 100% sure. But this was basically the coverage, and then we had a little shaded underneath yellow zone here. So you would put the yellow zone out there, you would shade underneath, and then you would cloud flat. The purpose of this man up has to be if this guy was on like a post route or something. But basically, Henry wants to key in on the tight end. He wants to be able to take the tight end himself. It's probably the main purpose here. So you see, like let's say they go to – Verticals, this is a pretty popular red zone combo uh, right now. Something like this. And he's going to use it here. Obviously, you see the crazy pressure. And then he can it's, it frees him up to basically be um, in that right side kind of seam area of the defense. Now, uh, against short side bunch, when Wesley was running his short side setup, what he was basically doing is he was running this uh, combination right here 
which essentially is we're trying to get this tight end to the corner. Uh, and Wesley also was getting screamed at. So a lot of times he was blocking people as well. That's important uh, to point out. Anyway, so you see, you would not, uh, you would not uh, pinch this or uh, pinch your D line here. And like I said, he probably was flipping the play. So, anyways, uh, what we get on the outside here is we're going to go cloud flat. We're going to go with a deep half to the left side, and then on the right side here, we're going to go with a scissor to take away anything to the right. So, what does this mean for Henry's user? His user has to take anything over here to the left side. Is basically kind of practically how it's going to play out. So he's coming over here off rip. And then as you see, able to get really nice pressure, that deep half will go play that short corner. Now this is also a really, really good defense in the red zone because if you don't if you don't pinch the defensive line, um, you can stop the run really easily. So let me show. So we'll, we'll do this. So again, you're not going to pinch your D line. Now uh, he, was, he was typically blitzing off the edge. So it might be something, like in this situation, maybe it was a man up onto the circle receiver. Not 100% sure how he would have defended this, but it probably would have been um, you know, something like what you're seeing right here with a little half over here to the right or maybe even a purple uh, over there with a, with a hard flat or something. Anyways, the point being, if you try to run the ball here, you can't really run against this spread line because they're going to hold the edge or uh, they're going to hold the edges a lot better in the run game. The same is true in the shotgun run game um, as well. So like, let's say, you know, let's say they were coming out and maybe they were trying to, you know, hit you with like an RPO. We'll see here. We'll go to trips tight end. We'll talk about this RPO alert wide receiver screen. Again, Sam blitz three play is flipped, blitz the linebackers. And then typically what you'll see here is you would have a, a flat there to the left side. You'd probably cross man that triangle receiver and then if you could, you could you could cross band circle. And then really, if you think about it, what am I guarding here? I'm just guarding the tight end up the middle, up the skinny here. So you see, if I try to throw the screen out there, that cloud flat will sit on that and make it more difficult for him to uh, get off of that block. And then the other big thing I want to show is just the ability of this defense to defend the run when you're spread. As you see, it's almost impossible to run the ball. So Henry, again, a great example of making you play left-handed. He is going to make you have to pass. He's going to make you do something you don't want to have to do. And that is what makes him, in my opinion, the best defensive player ever. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little breakdown on Henry, Henry's red zone defense. Be sure to add this to your own game. And if you want to learn my entire 6-1 defensive ebook, link is in the description down below. Join the Patreon for just 10 bucks, and I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player.